I guess there is a danger of suspending. Where can you hold it? If you <laughs> if you're just suspended. And I don't know how it is generally. How it works. Magnetic shoes. Eh? Magnetic shoes. <laughs> yeah. I even consider that not magnetic shoes, Excellent. but to have uh, to have uh, boots. Boots. Yeah. boots. Boots that are fixed. fixed. If it revolves, it revolves from underneath. Yeah. So if we have this and revolving as well, then we can cheat a variety yeah. of movements. Yeah. Maybe. What I like about the cube, apart from the intellectual reasoning for it, I like the fact that it's a place to inhabit. Yes. I like him living on it. You know the little prints. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, it's that to me. Yes. It's his world. Yes. In a cubic planet. Yeah, a cubic planet. Oh. This can be, you can be here, and this can be, you can be walking and standing at the same thing. It's like thinking. It's like an exercise of um, yeah, what you... considering. But anyway, who do we ask? Let's ask somebody. <laughs> With what less can we secure a person? And then, uh, who? Someone that does flying ballet? I think he is moving from squatting to standing up, which is actually the Darwinian evolution of the ape to the man. And he's also going forward and backward at times, which is exactly what the trip of trying to understand what the hell we are doing on Earth and in the universe. Αυτό μπορεί να είναι τελείως ρομαντικό νόσο δικό μου, ότι είναι ένας πολιτισμός μεγαλωμένος πάνω σε θράσματα, έτσι. Αυτό είναι τελείως, μπορεί να είναι καθαρά βιρονικό, ας πούμε, και τελείως δικό μου. Νομίζω πως είναι αλήθεια βέβαια, έτσι. Νομίζω πως είναι πραγματικά αλήθεια. Επίσης η κυριολεξία του τοπίου των βράχων πάνω στο νερό είναι κάτι το οποίο το θεωρώ πλάς. Ότι λες ναι, αντί να φανταστείτε αυτά που πετάνε ότι είναι εδώ και είναι τα νησιά μας, που πια θα είναι φλούδες και δεν θα το φανταστείτε, έτσι και αλλιώς. Ότι είναι αυτό. Αυτό είμαστε. Μάρμανο νερό, ας πούμε, και σκληρή όγκη. That's it. Αυτό είναι το... η χώρα. Υπάρχει πιθανότητα να είναι εικόνες πάρα πολύ... Πολύ δυνατές. Πολύ δυνατές, πολύ δυνατές και τελείως υποσυνείδητο. Εντελώς, δηλαδή σαν να είναι... Ε, μπορεί να είναι σαν ένα... Science fiction, but then in a science fiction, but the Queen of the is right. And then I, I, I realized that the only thing I, I could do was something that had to do with sculpture and, and the arts of the land. I thought that uh, sculpture being perceived the most, you know, I iconic of anything Greek globally would be appropriate for a big spectacle that has no time for poetry narration and it has to have a direct impact through an image. The Kuros were originally Egyptian statues, but when they moved to Greece, from Greek sculptures liberated Kuroses from their background, so that it's the first time in history that a full-scale human representation on stone could be seen from all sides. And this is the beginning of philosophy. 
And this is the beginning of lyrical poetry, the first time that a human writes about how a human feels. Does this do anything to you? I, well, eventually we have to light the man, so... Of course. I would suggest for tomorrow that we, uh, we do the black and white, then spend some time to watch some images with the music and then go back. Because otherwise it will it's be shocking right. in our eyes. So how to work like a path through a theme park where each impression is added up with the next one in order to create a single journey of emotions that, that are meaningful and intended. As we grow up, as Greeks, we are used to those fragmented bodies, to those mainly white, broken body parts that are carved on stone. And as we travel around the world, those broken body parts seem to be the perception of this land. Statues, place the pieces on the water, and there you have the portrait of the land.
Όπω είναι εκεί, να ανεβάσει λίγο το χέρι σου και να το αφήσει λίγο παράλογα. Να κάνει ένα up και να τα αφήσει και να κατεβάσει το χέρι σου λίγο πιο αργά και τσακ και φύγε. Okay. If he is ready, let's play the music and we'll catch him when he starts. The figure of a centaur, uh, who is uh, uh, a symbol of wisdom, but a symbol also of man not yet liberated uh, by its uh, animal instincts, but also living in harmony with his, with his nature. I think also there is a kind of uh, humbleness of humans. I think the humans inside this story that we created were never trying to escape their own human scale, were never trying to impress anyone with their skills, were never trying to be exaggeratedly happy or sad and humans not being great, but having produced great ideas. cycladic head emerges from the center pit. Like an explosion in a slow motion, the head breaks into many pieces, unveiling the statue of a kouros. The kouros breaks into pieces, unveiling a classical statue, which in its turn breaks as well. He goes down and all the rocks come to rest in the water with yeah. a breath. Then we go to page 17.
never be able to materialize it. That it would, would have to compromise to the point that it becomes ridiculous. And also that no matter how good the intentions, there would be a, a, a core of a philosophical statement that would, would have been off, like a center, that would make the whole thing kind of fall apart. What collections do we have for what we have? Have you looked at the video for tonight that you talked about, which are this, this one and this one, just kissing yes. the back on, the, on its way up, just prior to going up to projection? We have to fix a Kuros 5. We have to tweak a little bit the javelin. Mm -hmm. so you can also achieve starting cyclonic macro, then Kuros macro, then classical macro. Yeah. That's then three separate calls three stats. Listen, I didn't really believe that they would dig up this hole and that, that they would build this head. I never believed that. It was funny to see that it's, you know, I woke up with an idea and then you look in the center of the stadium and it's this enormous hole to fill this, this idea. have a kind of an anesthetic injection that you do to yourself and then you watch it ha happening and uh, th there's, a s there's a small child that is, is located on the heel of your left foot that goes, oh my god, they're really doing it, oh my god, they're really doing it. And then there's a, a serious guy, you know, that <laughs> controls you and you say, well, it's happening. It has to be done a bit differently, you should fix that, I think the surface is not perfect and all that. The only thing that has to be kept is that you have seen a view from a very high mountain that you managed to climb upon, and that's all. Yet, you are there, you witness it, you inhale it, and you are cool about it the moment that it happens. But it's the the cube it, the cube lines are coming down so before it breaks. And it goes early. it goes they come down and it goes and then it goes come way too early. If it goes in the middle oh. of one and stuff. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it.
This is rock number three. Rock number three. We did two different angles of rock two. One angle of rock one. This will be one angle of rock three. Tending to look at rock six and a fragment of rock five, including rock seven, which is on the left. I woke up with this marble head in my hands. It exhausts my elbows and I don't know where to put it down. So our love became one and it will so be very difficult to separate again. One. And it will be very difficult for it to separate again. This was a, an a verse that was brought to me by Lina, and when I read this part, I thought this is th this is the whole ceremony. This is the whole apology of a nation. But what a graceful apology with this these verses that express exactly the gift and the burden of modern Greeks with their uh, glorious past. We answer to the dilemma, will we talk about antiquity again? With a brave yes. You cannot say no, because it happened here. You happen to live here, now, no matter where you come from and where your bloodlines end up or start up. You happen to live here. This is the chance of the country to speak. So you have to meditate upon it. You don't just shut the door of the closet. You look at it again. Most of all, they made it. Yeah. 
the people down the hall. The thing is that we were really let free to play. I mean, spiritually, we set our own limits. We could have been better, we could have been more revolutionary, we could have been worse, we could have been... I mean, we could have gone much further. Nobody set our limits. <laughs>